news, we got something new in the mail today. And this one is look a little bit familiar because it is more cat puzzle toys from Outward Hound and Nina Otteson. They teamed up a while ago now, I think, to sell the Nina Otteson cat puzzle toys in the US. So we got the Dog Smart, the Multi-Puzzle, because it spins, slides, and unlocks. And we got the Challenge Slider. The first one is the Challenge Slider. And this one is going to figure out how it's done. Oh, you just slide it to different spots to get the different treats. With cat puzzle toys or dog puzzle toys, there's different levels and Charlie has already surpassed some of the levels. So these are higher level puzzle toys. This one is level three, this one is level four, and this one is level one. Let's open up the one so you can see dog smart. When Nina Otteson designed these toys, she designed them for dogs, but cats can obviously work them as well. And on this one, all they have to do is pull out the bone to get the treat. So that's why it's a level one, pretty easy. And then most difficult one is this one. And I think because you have spin, slide, unlock. So these are the sliders, obviously. And then there's spinning to get to the different treats. And the unlock must be, yes. So they have to pull this up and then that will slide down. I don't know how Charlie will fare on the higher level ones. He should be okay on this one, although it might take him a while to navigate. The reason that I like cat puzzle toys is because if you have a food made it motivated cat who lives indoors it's easy to put treats in here and leave them for them you know to entertain themselves overnight or if you go to work during the day and you're gone you can put all the treats in that you want and put it down and then by the time that you get home hopefully they've you know figured it out my sister when she goes out of town and i take care of her cats i actually take a nina Otteson puzzle toy, fill it with treats so that overnight they have something to do and can look forward to. Because a cat's natural routine is play slash hunt, then eat, then groom, then sleep, and then pee and poop is in there somewhere. So this takes care of the playing and hunting that then will make them want to eat and then make them want to groom and sleep. So that's also what's cool about it, but it also just, you know, entertains them intellectually while they figure everything out. We're going to do a review on these puzzle toys. It might take longer than four to six weeks because we have three to do and I wanna see, I mean, if Charlie can't master this, then there's no point in me doing a review on it. But if he can, then we'll go ahead and do the review so you can check it out and see how it goes. I put some treats in a few compartments just to get some footage for the unboxing, but I will need to do this, you know, on a routine basis so he gets the hang of it. You can go to the next compartment now. <laughs> Good job, Woo. Got it. I didn't put any in there. <laughs> that was cool. He slid that, but then that's going to lock the spin mechanism. And then I put a few in the dog smart one as well. And they have these little holes so that the cat can smell or the dog can smell that there's treats in there. I've also seen that ferrets are really into the Nina Otteson toys. So if you have a ferret, that might be an option for, for them too for entertainment. My sister's dog, Tato, has, enjoys the, the Nina Otteson puzzles as well. He is a German short-haired pointer, um, so kind of a medium to large dog. And he can get pretty aggressive trying to get to his treats. My sister uses whole life freeze-dried pet treats. And 
you have to be careful which puzzle toys you choose for him just because he can really, I mean, he's like pawing like a crazy man at all of them. So just be aware of that. Maybe read through the reviews if you have a dog. My cats have never destroyed the puzzles or jacked them up from too much pawing. But what about this one? I love how good their sniffers are that he knew which bone the treat was under. Let's see if he finds another one. I think I put three treats in that one. Nope. It wasn't that one, Woo. My other ones. Where is it? Oh, I just discovered you can fill the treats on this one super easy by pulling out this drawer. You fill out, fill that in with treats and then just slide it back in. So then you don't have, have to sit there and fill them like this, which would be rather annoying. Huh, that's pretty cool. I don't think this one has that drawer, no. Please let me know if you have any questions in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye.